All right, now we're going to do another example. If you guys notice, I had the previous example up here, but now what I'm doing is I'm adding a third subset, which is set C. And I also added some numbers to our universal set. So now our universal set, as I denote up here, U equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 14. Notice all of those numbers in the universal set are contained inside of the box. That is your universal set. Then, for each subset, we have labeled. Only, the only numbers in A are 2. Only numbers in B are 2, 5, and 8. And then C, we have 3, 1, 4, 2, and 5. Those are all within the circle of C. Now, let's go ahead and look at We've already done A intersect B. Let's look at B intersect C. So remember, the intersection is what do the two elements have in common? What do they share? So B intersect C is only going to be where these two circles cross. We're not going to be worried about our circle A. So this is going to be B intersect C would be 2 and 5. And then A intersect C is what do these two have in common? And our only value that these two circles have in common is 2. Because um, there's nothing in this, in this portion of the circle, so the only thing A and C have in common is 2. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a set notation when we have three different circles. So what this says is A intersect B intersect C. So what that means is what does A have in common with B that also has in common with C? So what do all three of them all have in common? So you go and look at that. You say A intersect B intersect C. That's going to only contain two. It's our only, this is the only part of all three of these circles. Does everybody see that? All three of these circles intersect at that point. <clears throat> or, I'm sorry, in this area. Then the other one is I have A union B union C. So what, how we say that in words is everything that's in A, which is 2, plus everything that's in B, which is 2, 5, and 8, plus everything that's in C, which is 1, 3, 4, 2, and 5. So you just add, combine all of those. And when I combine A union B union C, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's very important for you guys to be able to distinguish between your intersection sets and your union sets. Intersection is only what they have in common or only what they share. And your union sets is all of them combined. You're adding them together. Um, let's go ahead and look at just a couple more. If I say A union B, so what does A, what is A plus B? So that's going to be 2, 5, and 8. So 2, 5, and 8 have in common with C. So we have a union B is 2, 5, 8, and then intersect C. So what does all 2, 5, and 8 have in common with C? Well, that's only 2 and 5. So my answer is 2 and 5. Then the last one is A intersect B union C. So A and B, what do those two have in common? 2. Union C. So that means everything that these two have in common plus everything that's in C, which is 3, 1, and 4. So my final set would be... So A intersect B union C would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's everything that's in C plus the intersection between A and B, which is 2. So that is how you find sets when you have three circles.